Hello everyone, welcome to Manocha Academy. Today I am going to teach you how to draw the diagram of the male reproductive system. It's not a very difficult diagram, but sometimes we do not get the proportions of the diagram right. Where should the testes be? Where is the urinary bladder? bladder? Where is the urethra? So in this video, I am going to show you how to draw a diagram of the male reproductive system easily so that the different parts are proportionate and you also get a very neatly labeled diagram. Let's dive into the video and let's learn how to draw the diagram of the male reproductive system. Alright, so let us start the diagram of the male reproductive system. So as always, so I, today I will be drawing the front view. As always, I will be taking a reference line. I am taking a reference line of about 6 inches, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. That would be the overall length of the diagram. Okay. And here at the top, where I will be drawing uh, the urinary bladder, I am taking about half an inch, but I will be drawing the urinary bladder a little wider than that. But I have taken half an in inch on both sides. Okay. So first what I will do is, first I will draw the structure, the entire structure of the urinary system. Of course we are not drawing the kidneys, but we will draw the rest of the parts because then it will be easier for you to draw. So first we will draw the urinary bladder which you all know is an inverted pear shaped structure. So like this, okay. And then as you come down into the urethra. The first duct that op uh, opens into the urethra is that of the seminal vesicle. So I keep one gap like this. Then we straight away come down, we use the ruler, draw the entire urethra. Okay. Here we will draw the prostate glands. And here we will draw two small glands with ducts. These are the bulbourethral glands. And of course, here we will keep a gap in the duct and we will draw the seminal vesicle. This is a very diagrammatic presentation, all right. So, um, the positions have been made in such a manner so that you can see all the parts. So, this part we will draw first. And then we will draw the tip of the urethra which opens at the tip of the penis. Now for drawing the penis what we will do is we will draw two elongated cylindrical parts here. So these are the penile muscles right and then halfway through that we will draw a boundary for this. So around about halfway through that we will draw a boundary to this. Okay. And then the anterior part will be a little swollen and then it comes and meets the tip of the urethra. So we will make another line. So the anterior part which is basically covered by the prepuce or the glans penis is uh, slightly swollen and then it ends at the tip of the urethra. Once you have drawn this boundary, we will take this same line and draw the scrotal sac. Do not draw the entire thing first, just draw this much. Okay? And one more thing that we will draw are the two ureters which are bringing the urine into the urinary bladder from the kidney, we will draw those two. So once you have drawn this axis, now it is time to draw the main a reproductive organ which is the primary reproductive organ which is the testis. So where we shall we draw the two testis? We will draw the two testis here inside the scrotal sacs and we will attach the scrotal sacs to the kidneys sorry to the uh, testis with the help of lines. These are ligaments which are known as gubernaculum. Now from the two sides of the uh, of the testis we will bring out the epididymis. So we bring out the epididymis and that epididymis becomes a tube and continues back into the abdominal cavity. We will have to double line it obviously. 
So one thing that I made a mistake here and I would like you to notice is that the diameter of the epid uh, of the vast difference is very is uh, wider here and it is narrower, narrower here it should not be the case ok. So draw in such a manner that the diameter of the vast difference is equal everywhere ok. Similarly ok so what do we do with this? This will go take a turn from the front and then come down from behind and then join this gap ok. So going up taking a turn from the front of the ureter coming down and joining the, it, the duct here. So we will take it up it's taking the first turn right then coming down from behind then coming down again and joining the duct that where we had kept a gap it is joining there ok. And to make it appear like it is going from the front we will just erase a part of the ureter. So, we will make the ureter like this we will put a gap so that it looks like it is going from the front ok. Now similarly I will draw this side pass difference ok. The vast difference goes up, takes a turn from the front, comes down from behind and joins ok. So that is how it looks like. So we have more or less drawn everything except we will just draw the outer lining of the scrotal sac. So this scrotal sac now will continue. and this is done ok. I will erase the reference lines and that is how you draw the diagram of the male excretory system. So now sorry male reproductive system now let us label. We will label only the parts which are concerned no. with the reproductive system. So I am labeling the vast difference, I am labeling this duct which is known as the ejaculatory duct. I am labeling this gland which is known as the seminal vesicle, I am labeling the prostate gland, the Cooper's gland, the urethra, epididymis, testis, gubernaculum. glans penis and the urinogenital aperture ok. So we are just labeling the parts of the ex, uh, reproductive system because we are drawing the reproductive system here we will not uh, label extra parts because those are essentially parts of the excretory system. See the urethra is a common passage between the reproductive system and the excretory system so I am labeling that but I will not label the ureter or the urinary bladder. So let us label. So this is the vast difference, seminal vesicle, ejaculatory duct, prostate gland, Cooper's gland, urethra, epididymis, testis, gubernaculum, glans penis and the urinogenital opening ok. So with that the diagram is complete. However, as always a reminder to give a heading or a footer to the diagram that you have drawn. This is the human male reproductive system ok. So that is how you draw the diagram of the male reproductive system. So that was all for today's video. I hope you liked the video and learned from it. Do visit our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app Manocha Academy. Links are given below. We have courses for physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, AI and coding. Along with that we have the newly added courses on NEET and IIT foundation. You will get concept videos, live classes, quizzes, mock tests, questions and revision notes. 
so they will be perfect for your exam preparation. Do hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of our videos. Let's stay connected with Manocha Academy. Let's learn together.